The Prophet Mormon was usually quite diligent about detailing the chronology of Nephite history. Yet when it came to Christ's ministry at the Temple in Bountiful, the most salient event in Nephite history, Mormon's usual attention to days, months, and years suddenly fades into the background. One scholar has proposed that this lack of time-related references may be due to the temple symbolism of Christ's ministry. In particular, Christ's visitation can be connected to the temple's Holy of Holies. This inner sanctum was the most sacred location in ancient Israelite temples, a place where it was as if time stood still and where the temporal world was transcended by spiritual matters. In several ways, this reorientation of perspective, from finite to infinite, and from mortal to immortal, also characterizes Christ's sermon at Bountiful. For example, he taught his disciples to take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on, and also that they should take no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. With this temple sermon and temple location in mind, Mormon's sudden lack of attention to the details and the timing of Christ's visitation actually makes a lot of sense. Instead, it is as if Mormon was deliberately inviting readers to leave temporal, mortal concerns behind and to focus on the things of eternity, just as if they were entering into the most holy place of a sacred temple, with and through the power, love, and mercy of their resurrected Lord, the Great High Priest. And now you know why. <laughs>